better beware You're in for a scare <laughs> likely story. You were looking for that ghost again, weren't you? No, I wasn't, Mama. Honest. I don't know why you believe in those stories. There is no ghost in this house. Now go to bed. I will, Mama. I promise. Good night, Mama. Come on, you stupid old ghost. I'm not afraid of you. It's only you, Kitty. Who's there? No! Ah! Now that you have seen me, you cannot leave. Please! It's just a story. It's all part of the tour. Now, if you will all follow me, we will view the rest of the house. And who knows, perhaps tonight the headless boy will be again. Come out of there. There, right now. Gotcha. <laughs> One of these days, you local kids will realize that the spirits who haunt this house do not appreciate pranks. Out with you now, and don't come back until you're willing to show Hill House the proper respect. <laughs> that was excellent. Did you see the look on that little girl's face? We went too far that time. She was really scared. That's the point, Dwayne. The twin terrors of Wheeler Falls strike again. Maybe we're getting too old for this twin terror stuff. Are you nuts? We're just getting good. <gasps> I know. Let's come back tomorrow night. We can sneak away from the tour and look for the head of the headless ghost. I don't know. What? All of a sudden, you're afraid of ghosts? You heard what Otto said. The, the ghosts don't appreciate... You believe little... that? I didn't say that. I just you wanted what? to... Are you scared? No. It'll be great. Tomorrow night, Hill House will definitely be haunted by us. <laughs> the history of this house is one of madness and despair. It was over 150 years ago that a sea captain built this house for his lady love. When he came back from a sea voyage, he found his beloved had left him for another man. The poor captain died of a broken heart, but his enraged spirit lived on, taking revenge upon anyone who dared live in this house and upon anyone who mocked the ghosts within. Well, I'm glad to see our regulars have decided to behave themselves tonight. For their own sake. Each of these portraits represents some poor soul who tried to live in this house and then died a horrible and grisly death. And now if you will follow me up to the guest room, you will hear the bloody story of a young lad named Andrew. Ghosts, long icy fingers stretched toward the boys. Now's our chance. Come on. Come on. The ghost. Oh, 
blew the boy's head off. Come on, let's go to Francho's head. This is off limits. Who cares? This must have been the sea captain's study. Let's get out of here. Not until we find the head. Hmm. Is it here? for every dumb trick tonight. Come on, Stephanie, don't do that. Wayne, this time I'm not kidding. What? Look, where? Is it the head? Oh, man, I can't believe I fell for that twice. What was that? Don't even try it. No. Shh. Something's coming. Do. Quick, in the closet. that if you should ever come back, I should not be responsible for what the spirits may do. You have no respect. Respect this, you old grouch. Don't. What do you do that for? You know, Dwayne, you're getting to be a real drag. I'm a drag? You know, you never know when to stop, do you, Stephanie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Let's just get out of here. <gasps> do you want to see some real ghosts? Who are you? My name's Seth. I'm Stephanie. And I'm... D d and this is Dwayne. I heard you guys talking last night. If you want to see the headless ghosts, you have to wait for the house to close up and all the tourists to go home. That's when the real stuff happens. And how do you know? I sneaked in. Late one night. Quick, over here. I know this way in through the basement. Should we sneak in tonight? Yes, let's do it. Tonight? Maybe tomorrow would be better. Well, if Dwayne doesn't want to, he doesn't have to. It's not everybody who can handle a real ghost hunt. I can handle it. I didn't say I couldn't handle it. So are we on for tonight? Heck yeah. Dwayne? Come on, Dwayne. It'd be a real adventure. Hill House awaits. We don't want to wake the spirits. Yet. Come on. None of these rooms are on the tour. Smooth move. Sorry.
What's this? It's called a dumbwaiter. It goes all the way up to the attic. It was used to bring food up from the kitchen. You see, a long time ago, there was a boy who lived in this room. Andrew? The boy who lost his head? No. A different boy. A very spoiled boy who loved to eat ice cream. Strawberry ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. He always wanted ice cream. And he kept the kitchen maid hopping with his demands. Ice cream. He just couldn't get enough ice cream. Well, one day, the dumbwaiter didn't come all the way up. The boy reached. And he reached. Until, finally... He reached too far when the maid found him at the bottom of the shaft. Some say that the boy fell. Others say that he was pushed by a ghost. That's just a story. You said you were going to show us real ghosts. Do you think you're really ready? Yes. Dwayne? You don't have to come. I'll come. Then we have to go one flight up to the captain's secret room. What's this for? Oh. Uh, they say that the captain's ghost paints a portrait of his latest victim. It's getting late. Maybe we should be heading back. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. What are you talking about? Why, why did you lock the door, Seth? I lied to you. My name isn't Seth. It's Andrew. It's been Andrew for over a hundred years. But you can't be Andrew. Andrew lost his head. This is in my head. I borrowed it. Well, I have to return it. And so, I'll need a new head. And guess what, Dwayne? I'm gonna take yours. I need your head, Dwayne. I need it too. It won't hurt. Well, maybe just a little. It's only a second. Quick twist. Come right off. Snap. Just like a chicken leg. I'm just joking. Right. It's no joke, Wayne. I'm gonna pull your head off. Wait. Maybe we could help you. You know? Find your old head? Oh, it's no use. For years and years, I searched every room. Every hallway, every closet. Why my head? Well, I would take hers, but it'll look kind of funny. My head's not that great either. I mean, it gets allergies, it's, it's not that good at math, and its hair never does what you want it to. Nice try, Dwayne, but it's no use. I'm gonna take your head. That's all there is to it. Just hold still. Hey, the dumb way! What were you expecting? A dish of ice cream? Your head. Now you don't have to take mine. Hey, over here.
What are you looking at? Who, me? Don't play innocent with me, girly girl, or you'll find out that my bite is worse than my bark. A minute. If you're not Andrew, then who are you? I will tell you who he is. He is a no good kid who works for me, or at least he used to. I have warned you about these pranks. I shall deal with you later. Did you get inside? The door is locked. There are many ways to get into a room in the Hill House, but sometimes there is no way to get out. Would you please leave us, Dwayne? I would like to have a few words with Stephanie. Don't look so scared, Dwayne. What's he gonna do? Lecture me? Now, my cocky little friend. What are you doing, Otto? That's Captain Otto. Welcome aboard. Yes. Welcome aboard, Stephanie. I hope you like the story I told you. About how I died. You. You're the ice cream boy? That's him all right. And you think he ever gives me a bite? Never. I warned you, Stephanie. I warned you to show some respect for Hill House. She'll learn. She'll learn. <laughs> She'll learn. Please. I didn't mean it. Just another little dab around the mouth. <laughs> Wayne, help me. It's just the fixer-upper we've been looking for. Do you understand they used to give tours here? We heard the place was haunted. <laughs> haunted, right. And I'm a ghost. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be very happy here.